Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about deploying Windows Server 2019 with SCCM 1810. Hopefully, you guys have the latest and greatest uh, version of SCCM. So let's get started. So, first things first, I am using uh, vSphere, and I am going to right-click on my SCCM server and get into Edit Settings. Within here, I'm going to go into CD DVD. And from here, I'm going to pick data store ISO file, click on browse, and I am going to browse for my server 2019 ISO. And that's the first thing that you guys need to do. Uh, you can either download the eval, which I think it's temporarily down, or if you have a Microsoft volume license account, you are able to log in and it's there. That's how I received my ISO. I had to log into my volume license portal and I was able to download uh, my ISO. So I'm gonna mount this. When you mount it, uh, I made a mistake here. You don't want to do connect at power on because the machine is already powered on, it makes no sense. You gotta make sure you click on connected and uh, once it's connected, it's going to mount. So you go inside your SCCM server and within my SCCM server, I have a folder within my D partition uh, called source OSD and OS, OS images. And this is where I drop all my images. When you want to import an operating system within your SCCM, you have to create a, a local folder and then drag and drop all the content within the ISO inside that folder. So from here, I right clicked and I created a folder and I called it Windows Server 2019 X64. And I opened it up, there's nothing in it. Uh, I went inside this PC or my computer, my E drive, I right clicked on it and I clicked on open. Don't double click on it because if you double click on it, what's going to happen is going to start uh, running the wizard and it's going to try to upgrade your current uh, operating system and you don't want that. So right click, open, you want to select all the content within the ISO and just drag it and drop it inside your empty folder. Now the process should not take too long. Uh, it's about four gigs of content that you're copying and pasting from your ISO to that empty folder. Once everything is done, you're good to go. Now you wanna open up your SCCM console. From here, you wanna go inside software library and go to operating system and expand that node. And you wanna go inside the operating system images, right click on that, add an operating system image. Pretty simple, right? From here, you need to provide the UNC path. And my UNC path is actually the location of where I dragged and drop all that content uh, from the ISO locally to my SCCM server. You gotta make sure that you're using the UNC path. Now, you need to get inside sources and within sources, the install.wim. So I copy this entire path right here, right? Right click on it, copy. Went back inside the dialog box or the wizard to add an operating system within SCCM. Right clicked, paste, you're good to go. Okay, uh, click on next. By default, this is the name that it will provide you. You are able to change it and as well as give a version and a comment. Once you provide all that information, click on next. A nice little summary, next again. It's gonna start doing its magic and you're done. Okay, not yet. Close it. And once you close it, you want to right click on your operating system and you want to do is a distribute content. You're going to get the distribute content wizard. Click on next. From here, click on the add. You want to do a DP distribution point. From here, you're going to pick your DP. I picked my, uh, my DP. Once I checked it, clicked OK. Clicked on next. Next again. And you're done. Not yet. <laughs> click on close. If you still have your operating system still highlighted, on the lower right hand side, you're going to get a little progress bar. Uh, by default, it's gonna go in progress. Give it some time until it says success. And it, if it does say success, that means you're good to go, it's green, you can continue. Now the next step that you need to do is get inside task sequence. Within task sequence, right click on it and then create a new task sequence. You get the nice little create task sequence wizard. By default, you wanna do install an existing image package. Click on next. Provide the task sequence a name, uh, and then click on browse, and then pick your boot image. I pick boot image x64, clicked OK. I click next. From here, you wanna click on browse. You wanna pick your system image, which will be the Windows Server 2019 x64. Select it, click OK. And if you want, 
you could click on the image index and pick your poison. I think I picked server data center. Make sure you enable the local admin password, provide a password and confirm it. And from here, I also uncheck configure task sequence for the use of BitLocker. And I click next. From here, you are able to join the domain. I left it as join a work group and I gave it a name as work group. Click next. From here, if you have your configuration manager client already configured, you can leave it as is. I already have everything pre-configured, so I click on next. Uh, I unchecked all this because I'm not going to do any migration. Click on next. I'm not going to include any updates. I'm not going to include any applications. And then you get the nice little summary. Click next again, and you're done. Right? So it's basically next, 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 and close. Boom. Done. So the next thing you need to do is right click on your task sequence and we need to deploy it. You're going to get the nice little deploy software wizard. From here, you want to click on browse to pick your collection. You're going to get this nice little warning. Just click OK and you pick your collection. Now, my collection is going to be all unknown computers and click OK. From here, uh, the only thing that you're going to change is make available to the following. You want to pick only media and pixie and then next. You are able to change the scheduling. I didn't do anything here, so I just left it as the default next. I left everything as the default next. Alerts, default. Distribution points, I left it as the default next. Nice little summary, next. And then you're done. Now it's time for us to test. So I created a virtual machine. I called it V uh, Win Server 2019. I started the virtual machine and started to go inside the DACP to pick up you know, the WDS, it picked it up, F12. It picked up the SCCM server, so it started pixie booting. Uh, I have it locked down that you need to enter a password, so I entered my password, clicked on next, and I see all my task sequence. Then I'm going to pick my deploy Windows Server 2019 x64 task sequence, and then click on next, and it's gonna start deploying, downloading the WIM image, applying the operating system, and it's going to start doing all the stages within the task sequence, right? And then you can walk away because if you don't have any Windows updates, you don't have any applications or any custom stuff like I, you know, my, my stuff is basically just push out the operating system. So I walked away, went to lunch, came back, and then I, I got this. So you can do a control or delete. From here, you're going to log in uh, with your admin account. This is your local administrative account. Put your password. It's going to load up. And that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video, how to deploy Windows Server 2019 with SCCM 1810. Uh, don't forget about hitting that like button, and i catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.